so hey there guys Erin here again another what I eat in a day video today I started off with my coffee like I usually do just had the collagen coconut oil MCT oil a little bit of vanilla stevia and then a couple drops of vitamin D in there just to keep my immune system up and yeah just enjoyed my coffee and got on with my day so when it came time for lunch, I ate around 12.30, almost 1 o'clock, so that coffee kept me full for a while, and so I just kind of kept it simple for lunch and just took a can of tuna with one egg, a bunch of seasoning, um, salt, pepper, onion powder, dill weed powder, and paprika, uh, mustard, uh, some chia seeds, about a tablespoon of chia seeds, and then a tablespoon and a half of almond flour and then just mix that together, made patties because I was gonna do salmon cakes on my stove top. So I put that patties in the fridge for about five, 10 minutes in order for them to firm up because um, that kind of helps with kind of putting them together. And then I put a tablespoon of avocado oil into a pan. Actually, it was two tablespoons of avocado oil into a pan so that there was enough oil to help crisp them up as they cooked. So as you can see, the oil got hot and nice and bubbly and then they got fried on each side. So it took about five minutes, flipped them over after five minutes on each side. So then I needed to make a topping, so I just mixed some avocado oil mayonnaise, some hot sauce, some of that dill weed, onion, and um, black pepper together and just kind of made a nice spicy mayo sauce. I also took half of an avocado and sliced it up, put it on my plate, and topped it off with some more sea salt and black pepper. So when the salmon patties were done or salmon cakes were done, I just kind of served them up and then topped them with that mayo. This was just a great way to get some good protein in. I had been kind of burnt out on uh, turkey because we had a lot of leftover turkey after Thanksgiving and I just wanted to eat meat from different sources on this particular day. So got some healthy fat and fiber from those avocado as well as some additional fat in the salmon as well as the mayo. So just enough energy to kind of keep things going in kind of a lighter way without feeling like I was eating a lot of heavy fats. So when it came time for dinner, I preheated my oven to 375 degrees because I was gonna make kale chips. Kale chips are one of my favorite ways to get a lot of um, vitamins in, in kind of a more fun way. There's not a lot of calories and you can add oil to them in order to kind of pick up the fat content. So I just ripped off all the stems from the kale. I had washed the kale thoroughly and then just topped it off with a few tablespoons of olive oil, massaged that in, and then also added some sea salt to it in order to kind of have that kind of extra flavor because I think it feels a little bit salty. Um, it just makes it taste a little bit better. So put it in the oven for 25 minutes in total. So that kind of cooked um, while I was working on our steaks. So these steaks are just covered in a little bit of salt and pepper and just the tiniest amount of oil in order to kind of keep them moving on that pan. So I do use a grill pan in the winter in order to cook steaks because it's freezing outside right now and it just takes way too long for our grill to heat up. I also sauteed some mushrooms and some onions in some butter in order to kind of put that on top of the steak because I like that flavor. So these are just some tenderloin steaks so they're quite small, I think they're about a one third pound cut and the kale chips, I take them out when a few of the pieces start to get kind of brown and crispy. That's how I know that they're done. I do kind of flip them as they cook. Um, and as you can see, I cooked my steak kind of a medium well because that's my personal preference. I just kind of like my steak a little bit more done. My husband's is typically more rare than mine because that's what he prefers. But yeah, this is what I had for dinner, just some good kale chips um, and a nice steak. I like blend into this couch. Like, where does Aaron start? It's like, I to crank up the light. Ooh, ooh, that hurts, that, that hurts. When I have it this bright, I definitely am making Ron from Parks and Rec face. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn it down. Ah, oh, it's dark. 
So that was another day of eating on keto. Um, I really enjoy making these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them too. Based on kind of the feedback I get, these seem to be the most enjoyed videos that I make, so I'm gonna continue to make them. Um, I find them fun because they always make me think, okay, which day is gonna be a good day to film and which day am I planning to do a recipe or something different so I'm not showing the same thing over and over and over again. There's a lot of videos that I've made so far where those meals are definitely repeated throughout the week, so I'll, I have to get a little creative and try to figure out which day is gonna have the most variety. So if you guys enjoyed these videos, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If there are other videos that I make that you guys really enjoy and want me to make more of, could you let me know? Cause I am more than happy to do that. I am trying to kind of figure out, you know, what it is I wanna do more with on this channel and where I can be the most helpful. And I feel like the response I get, that these are the most helpful to everybody, but um, I wanna make sure that I'm doing as much as I can uh, with the kind of one to two videos that I put out per week. Yeah, that's pretty much another day of eating. Kind of lower on the food quantity overall, but I am still really stuffed from Thanksgiving and just eating leftovers that I just didn't have a huge appetite. And when I don't have a huge appetite, I just don't eat a ton. And that's kind of, kind of what I do. I kind of just do intuitive eating. So if I feel like I need to eat a little bit more, I eat a little bit more. If I feel like, you know, I'm not really hungry and I don't need to eat a ton, then I don't really eat a ton. And that's just kind of how I go about doing things. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys and that you found it informative and that it shows a good example of how one person is eating on the ketogenic diet while kind of keeping some variety in there. So yeah, until next time, I hope everything's going great in your guys' world and I will see you guys later.